that the pathway of, of cricket, not only Cricket Australia, but no, definitely Cricket Queensland, uh, was the one thing that allowed me to think I was a cricketer, not a footballer. Um, I, as a country boy, was able to compare myself to the city kids once a year at carnivals like this, you know, state carnivals, then interstate carnivals. And um, whereas uh, rugby league for me didn't didn't provide me those opportunities from the country. So the system was good, and it's that pathway that allowed me to think that I was a cricketer, not a footballer. And I like uh, what a Cricket Australia have done at the moment in making sure there's more Victorian and more New South Wales cricketers being played playing in these tournaments because, you know, they've got the population, they've got the big populations and yet they're only allowed to select the same 15 boys as the smaller populations. So it was unbalanced uh, and inequitable, so now they're addressing those issues. I like it. Uh, I like that regional boys are in these tournaments and uh, made a big thing of, as well as the, the major populations getting a fairer representation. I like the fact that we're identifying talent one year earlier, um, and the, the, you know, the Cricket Australia 11 in this under-17s championship have proven that they're good cricketers, they're really good, and they're, they're a bit of a unit and potentially could win this. Um, so, so, but they wouldn't have made their state teams just for the fact that they're one year young. They had to wait for the next year. So it's a, it's a good thing that, uh, that younger talent's getting a chance. I wouldn't mind being a bit of a coach so that I could see where they come from and where they get to. You know, how good a player is at 16 and where he's going to get to and have an eye for that, but I haven't. And then see them in the nets and see how they hit the ball and, and see what sort of uh, heart they have for the battle. Those sorts of uh, things you need at the top level. You heard it here first, Ian Healy, the next coach of the Cricket Australia 11 next year. What's no. his hand up? <laughs> well, that's, that's interesting. I, no, I haven't even thought of that, actually. But, uh, yeah, no, I think it's well covered. I, I think that the ranks of the coaches and uh, with past players in, being involved has a, has a new thing that's emerged in cricket in the last five years as well, which is, which is great to see.